I've been a fan of Jerry Seinfeld for most of my life, and ever since political correctness started encroaching into comedy and started to ruin it, I've only grown to love this guy even more. Seinfeld's been railing against this for a while now. Like, about a decade ago, some pissant who works for BuzzFeed was interviewing him for his show Comedians in Cars Getting Coffee and took Jerry to task for most of the guests on the show being white males. And Seinfeld was having none of it and swung back against the PC bullshit in no uncertain terms. I have noticed that most of the guests are mostly white males of 22 episodes. Yeah, that you've let's had. get into that. No, I, <laughs> but but you, you take a look over here, Peter. What do you see? A lot of a lot of whiteies. Oh, this really pisses me off. But go well, ahead. No, no. It really pisses me off. People think it's it's the census or something. I mean, this has got to <laughs> represent the the actual pie chart of, of of America. Who cares? It's just funny, you know. Funny is the, is the is the world that I live in. You're funny. I'm interested. You're not funny. I'm not interested. Okay. And and I have no interest in gender or race or anything like that. But everyone else is kind of with their little calculating. Is this the exact right mix? You know, mm -hmm. uh, I, I think that's, uh, to me, it's anti comedy. And Seinfeld has done it yet again, only this time he specifically called out the extreme left for ruining comedy TV with its political correctness. It used to be you would go home at the end of the day, most people would go, oh, Cheers is on, oh, MASH is on, oh, Mary Tyler Moore is on, all in the family's on. You just expect it. There'll be some funny stuff we can watch on TV tonight. Well, guess what? Where is it? This is the result of the extreme left and PC crap and people worrying so much about offending other people. Mm -hmm. When you write a script and it goes into four or five different hands, committees, groups, here's our thought about this joke, well, that's the end of your comedy. They move the gates, like in skiing. Yeah. Culture, the gates are moving. Your job is to be agile and clever enough that wherever they put the gates, I'm going to make the gate. Have you had that experience? Um, no. Because isn't that what Curb is all about? Are yeah. They, they Larry, was, Larry was grandfathered in. He's old enough that I don't have to observe those rules because I started before you made those rules. Considering that so many entertainment companies these days have diversity guidelines for their creative content, it completely stands to reason that there would be an army of woke idiots on standby to redline TV and movie scripts for offensive content. As for long-standing figures in the world of comedy getting grandfathered into the new system of the entertainment business and therefore not having to follow its new woke rules, well, Evidently, if that's true, a lot of comedians have not gotten the memo. I mean, it's amazing how many comedians that were active before political correctness started stifling humor have decided to tuck their balls and just tow the woke company line. Like Jimmy Kimmel was on The Man Show with Adam Carolla for years, and now he's a politically correct little bitch. Sarah Silverman believes comedy should be softened to fit the current day. Everyone's going to be offended by something, so you can't, you can't just decide on your material based on not offending anyone. But I do think it's important as a comedian, as, as a human, to change with the times, to, to change with new information. I don't think there's anything wrong with changing with the times. I think it's a sign of being old when you are put off by that. I caught myself a few years ago fighting gay. I say gay, like that's so gay. I just say gay, I have gay friends. I don't mean it like gay, I mean it like it's gay, like it's lame. And then I stopped myself and said, what am I fighting? I, am, I have become the guy from 50 years ago who said, I say colored, I have colored friends. Mm -hmm. It's not hard to change with the mm -hmm. times. You know what doesn't change with time, Sarah? Political correctness is not funny. It never has been, and it never will be. In many discussions regarding comedy, proponents of political correctness will say that jokes should not punch down. But here's the thing. 
There is no punching up and punching down when it comes to humor. When someone says that you can't make jokes about this group of people or that group of people for this reason or that reason, they're not treating that group of people as peers. They're not treating them as equals. They're condescending to them. Being treated as an equal means that you and the group to which you belong can get made fun of, just like I and the group to which I belong can get made fun of. No one's above getting clowned on. That's equality. Jerry Seinfeld clearly understands this, and if he can still have a career without having to follow the woke orthodoxy, then so too could have the veteran comics that decided to sell out and go woke. I'm going to be keeping an eye out for more Seinfeld interviews because this is the second really pointed interview that he gave in about the space of a week. He's been doing a lot of interviews lately to promote a film that he directed called Unfrosted. And even though he's making a movie, he actually said in an interview several days ago, the movie business is over. And while that's hyperbolic, he does have a point. He said in this interview, film doesn't occupy the pinnacle in the social cultural hierarchy that it did for most of our lives. And yeah, movies as a cultural force don't have nearly the same relevance that they did even a decade ago. Maybe I should change the theme of my channel then. And while there are many factors that have contributed to its decline, Hollywood incessantly grinding a politically correct acts with the content that it makes is definitely one of them. With movies as a whole declining in popularity as a form of entertainment, and with the movies that do get made trying to sidestep anything that can be construed as politically incorrect, is it any wonder that comedy movies these days are as scarce as hen's teeth? A lot of the comedy these days that actually manages to make a cultural impact is more in the realm of stand-up comedy, like the Dave Chappelle specials. And in his interview where he called out the extreme left for ruining comedy, Seinfeld even said that stand-up comedy is really the last place where comedians have the freedom to take risks with humor. And I completely agree. Like, most of my favorite comedians with an edge, like Nick DiPaolo, Dave Landau, Chrissy Mayer, these are not network or studio-approved comedians. They're just working comics, and they're in the online space as well, of course. But it just goes to show that if you want really gutsy jokes that are going to make you laugh to the point where you feel like you've had the wind knocked out of you, you're probably not going to get that in Hollywood movies or TV shows. Not anymore.